That's so you need to start saying I'm a hydration machine and I promise you your life will change. Number two tip for success that I have to teach you is this. Every diet works. I promise you every diet works. Who here has lost weight on diet before? Everybody. See, they work. In fact, in a major study when they looked at all the different diets, they all worked. The only difference was what? How long you can stay on it. The person who stayed on the diet, it didn't matter what the diet was, if they stayed on it longer, they lost more weight. True? So, I got to credit my buddy. I want you to worry about stickability. That's from my mentor, Greg, uh, Greg Reed. You can find him on Facebook. He's the one that got me hooked up with the Wishman movie. Stickability, he wrote a book called Stickability. How long can you stick to it? That's what's important. What makes it last, right? So the only thing that works is how long you do it for. So what's happened now is my job, I've come to realize over the last four years is this. I gotta get y'all to stay on the plan as long as possible. Does that make sense? Yes. For all of you who've had weight regain or struggled, what happened? You got off the plan. That's it. It didn't suddenly stop working. You just started snacking a couple peanut butter crackers here and there, right? You got off the plan. You get. You said this. I'm tired of green smoothies. I don't know what else to make for mushy, right? Like no, you just didn't explore enough, right? So now people are not gonna like this. But this is why weight loss surgery is successful, quite honestly. It forces you to limit how much you can eat. Is that true? Yep. At least for a little while. I mean, if you try to eat more than this the first few months, will it hurt? Hell yes. Yes. <laughs> right? So it's a uh, restriction. It is metabolic, right? So it changes your gut hormones. It is, um, uh, hormone, that's the same thing. Oh, malabsorptive. So if you have one of these malabsorptive surgeries, like a bypass, things like that, right? But here's the ugly truth that no one likes when I say it. It doesn't last forever. Is that true? Right. It won't last forever. The reason why, Eventually, if you get off track too much and you eat a little bit too much, a little bit too much, a little too much, what will happen to your little baby? You'll stretch it. You'll stretch it, and you'll lose this restriction. Mm -hmm. All right. And I see, I I stopped adopting patients, but when I used to, I'd get patients who had a bypass, who had a duodenal switch, who had a sleeve, and they go, Doctor Vong, I can eat an entire hamburger. How can I eat a whole hamburger? And I say, you asked the wrong question, man. What's the question you should be asking? Why are you, Why are you even trying? trying? Why are you even trying to eat a hamburger, dude? Because you know hamburger, is that the right thing to eat? No. No. So what the F does it, oh, the kids are gone. What the, <laughs> what the F does it prove? That you can sit there and say, I eat a whole slice of pizza, what's wrong with my surgery? There's nothing wrong with your surgery. What's wrong with you? Does that make sense? So. My job in the last four years is to see how easy I can make it for you guys to stay on track. So I got green smoothie. I got it down to green smoothies for breakfast, salad, a lot salad. of salads, lean proteins, Vegetable. bunch of water, mm -hmm. big ass dreams and goals, man. You know, it's probably still too many steps. I <laughs> gotta cut it down a little bit further. So why does all of this go away? Anyone know? Why does the metabolic effects go away? The hunger return, the malabsorption gets better. Why, why does it go away? Anyone remember? My body is what? Super, Smart. super, Asian, Asian. <laughs> smart. <laughs> My body is super duper Asian smart. It's designed, it's a created, your body is created by a power bigger than us. Everyone agree? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what you call it a power, but it's just true. Evolution, whatever. Um, it's just too smart. It will overcome anything we design. 
with the current technology that we have, right? So I did that talk on weight loss plateaus and I compared your journey to airplanes. The big jumbo jets need two mile runway to like get enough momentum going to take off. Or there's a fighter plane that's on the air, air shift carrier. It's got 50 yards. And if it doesn't get up to speed, what happens to it at the end? <laughs> Any options there? No, no. I mean, they don't have time to hit the brake, do they? I don't no. think they do, right? Like, there's no reverse, I don't think. No. Like, oh shit. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, they have to hit speed or they're crashing. And what I was imploring to you guys in that video is that you need to become a jet carrier, like a fighter plane. You gotta launch fast off that airship carrier. You don't want to take a long time. You don't want to be a jumbo jet that needs two miles to, before you take off. Why not? Too many roadblocks on your runway. Too many roadblocks. Too many negative people. Too many layoffs. Too many presidential tweets. Too many. You know what I mean? Too many cancer bouts, recurrences. Too many bad news, bad medical reports. Too many car wrecks. Too many like pointless shootings and robberies and muggings. True? Hurricanes. Hurricanes, natural disasters. Too many stuff in your runway. If you're taking too long to get started, you're in trouble. If you're pre-op and three months from now, you still don't have a smoothie maker, you're not gonna make it through our program. I'm telling you. Go out and get yourself a smoothie maker. Go out and get yourself some gallons of water. Change out your diet soda for water already, damn it. If you can't get that down, there's too many other roadblocks in your way. Does that make sense what I'm saying? So in the past four years, I gotta get you guys up to speed faster, which we're doing a really good job at, and then I gotta keep you flying a lot longer. Keep you up in the air a lot longer. Simplify that. Does that make sense? Yep. Mm -hmm. Stick around, stick a building. The number three thing that I think that I've contributed to that's really changed things is this, the inches girl concept. 